In this lesson, we're going to add the small holes up here. Let's start by creating a disk object. And I want to change the orientation of this disk to minus Z. And I'm going to snap it to this polygon here. So let me just hit the P key and undock uh, the snapping menu here. So we need snapping and we need to snap to polygons and midpoints. And now what we can do is left click anywhere in the viewport except on the axes or the axis bands to grab this disk and we can snap it to this polygon up here. And let's just get a little closer and make sure that we actually snapped it to uh, the polygon here. Okay, so now let's go to uh, the front view and I'm going to switch off snapping and switch to uh, wireframe mode here. Let's go ahead and bring the outer radius down quite a bit. Let's do maybe five centimeters here and adjust the position of this disk on the y-axis. And I'm going to reduce the disk segments to one and the rotation segments to eight. If you take a look at the geometry of this disk, uh, you can see that if, w if we connect it uh, the way it is now, we will have to create geometry up here and down here. And that's not what I want to do. I want to make sure that all geometry that we create in order to be able to add this hole up here stays within this area up here. So uh, let's go ahead and make this disk editable. And I'm going to uh, rotate it so that this edge here is parallel to this edge. And we can calculate that. So let's go ahead and uh, enter 360 for a full circle divided by eight segments. And we need to divide that by two. So now we can bridge these edges up here and these edges down here. Uh, without the need to create further geometry here. Next, I want to select this outer frame and in polygon mode, I'm going to grab this polygon here and use extrude inner. And let's do something like uh, this. And let's select this polygon over here and just hit new transform. And in edge mode, I'm going to uh, use my rectangle selection tool with tolerance selection switched on and I'm going to select these edges here and I'm going to use edge cut with two subdivisions and let's go ahead and slide these up and scale them a bit and now we can select these edges here and scale them on the y-axis. And I'm going to select these edges and also scale them on the y-axis. And I'm going to select these edges again and move the modeling axis all the way to minus 100% on the x-axis. So I can zoom in to this area and adjust these edges. So let's go ahead and move these up a little and maybe scale them down a bit. And now we can switch to polygon mode and delete these polygons here. And let me just drag this disk down below the outer frame in the object manager and I'm going to delete the UV tag here. And now we can select both of these objects right click and select connect objects and delete and in edge mode I'm going to bridge these edges up here and these ones down here and maybe these ones and these ones and now we can use close polygon hole to close these holes here let's go ahead and select these polygons and use extrude inner to create 
the control edges like this and let's do an offset of maybe 0.5 I don't want to make this uh, edge too sharp and what I also want to do is I want to get rid of these triangles uh, but instead of just uh, dissolving four of these edges like we did before I'm just going to dissolve all of these edges here and in point mode I'm going to connect these points here and these points down here and I'm doing this just because uh, the topology flows a little nicer uh, with a geometry like this let's go back to polygon mode and extrude these polygons back maybe let's use an offset of minus 8 here and I'm going to use extrude inner with the same offset as before and we also need to add control edges on the inside here so I'm going to select these edges here and add two edge loops here let's go ahead and switch on the hypernerves and see how this uh, looks I'm going to uh, maybe change the settings for the ambient occlusion here just to uh, speed up the renders a bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the minimum samples to 5 and the maximum samples to 32 and I'm going to render uh, this region here and I think this looks pretty nice so uh, that's good uh, now we need to create uh, the holes over here as well and of course I don't want to have to do all of um, what we did here over and over again so we're just going to use uh, this geometry here and copy it over uh, to uh, where the other holes need to be first of all though we need to uh, select these polygons here and delete them and now I'm going to select these polygons here and I'm going to use mesh commands split to split off these polygons and create this new object here let me just make the outer frame invisible for a second now let's go to model mode here and switch to the move tool and I'm going to switch on the object axis and place the object axis right on this point here uh, at the corner and now we can switch off the object axis again and we need snapping so let's go ahead and switch on snapping and this time we need to snap to vertices so I'm going to switch the outer frame visible again and what we can do now is hold down the control key left click and drag on the x-axis to drag out a copy of this uh, object here and I'm going to snap it to this point here so let's go ahead and do that again and again and one more time to place copy right here and now we can select all of these copies here drag them down uh, to the bottom of the object manager and we can select all six objects here and use connect objects and and delete now we also need to optimize the object so in point mode I'm going to deselect everything and use optimize with the default settings and this will reduce the number of points to 3930 and now uh, we need to get rid of some of the edges here so in edge mode I'm going to switch to my move tool uh, select this edge here and I'm going to hold down the shift key and the control key and left click on this edge to select all of these edges here and I'm going to dissolve these edges 
and I'm going to use the knife tool with visible only switched on and I'm going to cut from this point to this point down here and let's grab the move tool again select this edge and let me switch off snapping here so I'm going to select this edge and hold down the control key and shift key uh, to and left click on this edge here to select all of these edges and let's go ahead and dissolve these and I'm going to select this point and line it up with this point here and I want to select all of these points here and line them up by changing the size to zero on the y-axis and we need to do the same thing over here so let's go to edge mode and grab the move tool select this edge and hold down the control key and the shift key and left click on uh, this edge down here let me just do this one more time and let's dissolve these edges here and again I'm using the knife tool to cut from this point to this point and I'm going to select these edges here and dissolve them and I'm going to uh, line up this point here with this point on the y-axis and I'm going to select these points here and change the size to zero on the y-axis to line these ones up so let's switch on the hypernerves again and render the entire region up here okay and this looks very good I think and now we're almost uh, done there's just a couple of things uh, left to do here one thing I want to do is I want to change the position of these holes down here a bit to get rid of these uh, pointy polygons so let's just select these points here I'm just going to move these up a bit and let's grab these points and move them over a bit like this and I'm going to move these points over to here so when we subdivide this uh, that looks a lot better uh, what I also want to do is uh, switch to polygon mode and uh, you can see here we still have an end gone and I'm going to deselect everything here and use a free plugin it's called special selection here uh, uh, but that is because I've translated the interface uh, the original title is uh, Selection Supplétive it's a plugin by a French developer and uh, you can use it to select to find and select all triangles, quadrangles, and angons, for example. It's a very useful tool, so uh, you may want to grab this. So I'm just going to uh, click on select all angons, and we can see we have an angon down here. And apparently, this is due to the fact that I created uh, some edges here. And this is easy to fix, so I'm just going to switch to edge mode, grab my move tool, and double click on one of these edges to select the entire loop here and I'm going to dissolve these edges let's go back to polygon mode so you can see we don't have any n-gons anymore let's go ahead and check for triangles I'm going to use this plugin again and click on select all triangles and as you can see nothing is selected which means we don't have any triangles which is good so there's one more thing I want to do uh, let's go ahead and drag this out of frame out of the hypernerbs object and I want to use axis center here and move the object axis all the way to 100 percent on the x-axis over here and I want to move the y-axis all the way down to minus 100 percent all the way down here and I want to move the z-axis all the way to 100% over to the back of the object and 
now we can center the object uh, on the grid by changing the position to zero on the z-axis. And now let's hold down the Alt key and create two symmetry objects here. And we need to change the mirror plane of one of these uh, symmetry objects to X, Z. Let's go ahead and drag this into the hypernerbs, switch on the hypernerbs, and do one more quick render here. So this is the end of part one of this tutorial. Uh, the outer frame is now finished and we can move on and model the inner frame using pretty much the same techniques that we used to create uh, the outer frame here.